Life's got problems, let's find solutions. This video is on how to round to the correct number of significant figures, keeping in mind the addition and subtraction rules. There's separate rules for using sig figs in calculations, depending upon if you're doing addition or subtraction type of problems, and doing multiplication and division types of problems. Two separate rules. And so this is going to cover the addition subtraction rules. Let's say you are trying to add up a total length of something. You got multiple pieces of something and uh, you need to know what the total length is when you add them all together. Now you get the first measurement uh, from somewhere, some device that can go to the hundredths place. You get the second measurement and for whatever reason it can only go to the tenths place. And you get a third measurement that also goes to the hundredths place. Now I'm, I'm willing to admit, I don't know how often this is going to happen where you're trying to get a total length and for whatever reason, the device that you use to measure the first and third reading, uh, which could go to the hundredths place, is somehow not able to be used for the other measurement that can only go to the tenths place. So you have to use some other less precise instrument, but so be it. Let's say you got a situation like this. Now, you want to add these all up to get a total length. As the, uh, I would hope, third, second grade math student in you can do, you add these all together and you're going to wind up with a value of, according to your calculator, 33.06. So our answer that we would get, 33.06 centimeters, that looks like it should be the total length. And if this was, you know, third grade math class, okay, you're, you're good, you got your answer, you're done. But when it comes to significant figures, we have to be honest with our measurements. We have to be honest with how much of this we actually know. Do we really know that the total length, when we put all these, you know, these three things together, is it really going to be 33.06 centimeters? That's a, that's a precise uh, statement all the way to the hundredths place. We only know two of these numbers to the hundredths place. We have no idea what's happening over here. So in this hundredths place for this second measurement, we don't really know what what numbers there are. Our instrument couldn't tell us that. And realistically, if you remember back to previous video, this could really be 3.95 with a bunch of zeros afterwards, realistically. Or this value could be 4.149. It could have been that if this was measured digital, uh, with a digital type of reading. Um, but it could also be from estimation. It could be somewhere anywhere in between there. So there's there's plenty of uncertainty. We don't know what this number is. And so this one has some uncertainty. In the other measurements, it's the hundredths place, not the tenths place that has some uncertainty. It's their thousands place we really don't have any information on. So in our final reading, since we don't even know what's happening here in the hundredths place for this measurement, and it was added in with the others, we really can't trust this point zero six, specifically the six. We don't know that for sure. We do know a lot about like the 18, the 4, the 10. We know those things very well. So this 33, we are very confident about. It's when we now get down to the answer into the tenths place and the hundredths place. That's where we have to do some rounding. And we have to be honest with how much we truly know. The rule for adding and subtracting and how you round with your significant figures is you will round your answer to a place value that was the least precise place value in the numbers that you added or subtracted together, or both. You could do a mixture here of addition and subtraction. So what I mean is, we know the precision of this first number to the hundredths place. The second number, we know its precision only to the tenths place. And in the third number, we know precision to the hundredths place. So it's the tenths place, which is the least precise of our measurements, the least precise one that we know. And so that means our answer must be rounded to the tenths place. So we have to round to the tenths place, and that means we're going to look at the other number, and if it's five or greater, then we're going to round up, just like your, you know, your rounding skills from your older math classes told you. So since this is five or above, it's a six, we round this up by one. So we're going to actually call this, once it's rounded with sig figs, 33.1. Don't forget your units. By the way, when it's the non-rounded answer, I like to call these the raw values, so the raw number. And in this video, future videos, I'm going to call that the unrounded number, call it the raw number. Okay, so let's try an example problem. We've got 8.24 plus the quantity of 13.26 minus 11.1 
plus 105. If you know your order of operations, you know that these parentheses that I put in here don't really mean anything. So I, I can add and subtract these in any order that I want to, and uh, when I get to the end, that's when I'm going to round. You don't want to do any in-between rounding for this, because everything involved is addition and subtraction. So we are all within the same rules of addition and subtraction for sig figs. So we can just type this into the calculator as we normally would. We've got 8.24 plus 13.26 minus 11.1 .1 plus 105. All right, so our raw answer that we're getting from this is 115.4. 115.4 what? I don't know. I don't know what the units are. We didn't give units to this problem, but that's my value. 115.4. Now, even before I, I calculated this out, we could see what the precision is going to be of each value, assuming these are measured values. 8.24, 13.26, these are both to the hundredths place with their precision. This one here, 11.1, .1, is only to the tenths place, so this would at first limit it, but now we look at this other one, 105, that has only precision to the ones place. This is my least precise measurement. It's all about the, the decimal places and which one has the least precise one. So 105 limits us to having precision and knowledge of our value only to the, to the ten, uh, ones place. I might also mention, notice like because the hundredths place had a four and this hundredths place had a six, those became a full value of a tenth. And that's why on my calculator, it only said, it only reported to me 115.4. It didn't report to me 115.40. That's going to happen sometimes. Your calculator doesn't know that you might want to know that that zero was there for the raw value. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes maybe that zero should have been kept for sig fig reasons, but the calculator got rid of it. So in this case, we're just going to round to our ones place value. So we look at our ones place and look at the next place over in the tenths. We have a number that is not 5 or greater, it's just 4. So we just cut it off. That's our raw value, 115.4. When rounded, we are at 115. And again, I hope that makes sense. 105, we had no information as to what's over here on the tenths place. We don't know what any of this value is. And so we're going to uh, assume whatever that value was is not significant enough to change this to 115, go up to 116. So we're going to treat it just like that. Also, you might be noticing, like, well, if it was something, wouldn't that have still made that 0.4 become a 0.5? Well, maybe, but some of these other values, when added up, they had some uncertainty, too, so maybe this 0.4 is already inflated. All right, so try this problem. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Go ahead and uh, pause the video, work this out, and then round it to the correct number of significant figures, then go ahead and press play and see if you get it right. Okay, so if... In this case, with the parentheses, well, now this does kind of mean something because I'm subtracting whatever's in this quantity. But keep in mind, everything in this problem is all addition subtraction, so it's all within the same rules. I'm not going to do any in-between rounding here. What I am going to do, though, is I am going to distribute this negative sign to the things in the quantity. So I'm going to say that this is a negative, and I'm going to say that this here is a negative. So I'm really adding a negative 18.22, and I'm adding a negative 36.045. So I type this out on my calculator. 162.9, 162.9 minus 18.22 minus 36.045 plus 0.59. And we've got, for a raw answer, raw value... 109.225, and that is raw. All right, so if that's my raw value, now if I'm looking at where I need to round my sig figs to, I go back into the problem, and I can see that I have precision to the tenths place, precision to the hundredths place, precision to the thousandths place, and precision to the hundredths place. So it was this number here, my first number, 162.9 that is actually limiting me to having precision only to the tenths place in my answer. So I have to round to the tenths place. The next number is not 5 or above, so I'm just going to cut those off. And we're going to call for our final answer, 109.2. Did you get that answer? If you did, go tell mom or dad you deserve extra toppings on your dessert today.
So that was the addition and subtraction rules. Uh, next video is going to show you that there's a different set of rules for how you round with sig figs with multiplication and division. So keep that in mind and uh, check out the next video if you want to learn more. Lund out.